Some of the richest billionaires in the world today include Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Gautam Adani. When we think about the wealthiest people in the world, names like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Gautam Adani would come to mind. These estimates are, of course, predicated on the most recent data available regarding the net worth, which may be subject to alter at any time. If you go further back in time, you'll find that the fortunes of more well-known persons also crumbled to pieces at the same time. But what if we could travel back in time and tell you that the richest person in history, taking into account inflation, beat not only the tech billionaires and shipping magnets of the industrial era, but also the world's greatest rulers, such as Augustus Caesar, 6 trillion US dollars, William the Conqueror, 5 billion US dollars, and Akbar I. Incalculable. What would you think of that? According to historians, Mansa Musa, a West African prince who ruled during the 14th century, was the wealthiest person who ever lived. According to the BBC, his fortune was incomprehensible and cannot be adequately described. So today's video is about the richest person in the history, Mans Musa. Watch the video till the end to know more about Mansa Musa. Also, if you like the video, share the video with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's start now. So who was he exactly, and why may you not have heard of him? The Mali Empire was ruled by Mansa Musa, who was known as the Sultan. In Mandinka, Mansa denotes Sultan or Emperor. According to the BBC, it was documented that Musa Kida was born around the year 1280 AD under the Kida dynasty. He was born into a family of kings and ascended to power in the year 1312 AD after his brother Mansa Abu Bakr abdicated the throne in order to embark on an opulent journey at sea. According to the historian Shubab al-Umari, Abu Bakr had long been enamored by the Atlantic Ocean. It is said that he sailed with a fleet of approximately 2,000 ships carrying thousands of people, including men, women, and slaves. However, he never returned. Mansa Musa rose to power and became the ninth sultan of the West African Kingdom, which by the time he took over was already regarded as an extremely prosperous nation. His empire was prosperous in terms of land, salt, and gold. According to the British Museum, Historians believe that the Mali Empire was at that time the largest producer of gold in the world and owned more than half of the world's total quantity. This information comes from the museum's collection. While Musa was on the throne, the kingdom continued to experience tremendous growth as a direct result of his efforts to broaden the scope of trade throughout the region. According to National Geographic, he continued to see a meteoric rise in his riches as a result of exploiting substantial salt and gold reserves and engaging in the trade of elephant ivory. However, Musa's wealth came from many sources than simply the salt and the gold that was found there. The kingdom flourished greatly under his leadership, expanding over 3,000 kilometers, 1,864 miles, from the Atlantic Ocean to what is now the country of Niger and annexing over 24 cities, one of which being Timbuktu. It was said that he had never lost a fight, and in many cases, areas willingly joined the Mali Empire due to the improved standard of life offered by the empire. He embarked on the most opulent pilgrimage in the history of the world. According to Magnates Media, Musa, a devout Muslim, set sail for Mecca between the years 1324 and 1325, embarking on what is now considered to be the most expensive pilgrimage in the history of humanity. Musa had a dream of making his name known all across the world, and this desert trek of 6,500 kilometers provided him with the ideal opportunity to do it. According to the BBC, the King of Mali departed the country with over 60,000 men and women, including royal officials, camel drivers, and slaves. It was said that the majority of these travelers, including the slaves, were dressed in head-to-toe Persian silk and gold brocade. This was reportedly the case. The camels, of which there were approximately 100, were loaded down with sacks of unadulterated gold. How else did he splash his gold? The journey led Musa and his traveling companions through the Sahara Desert and into Egypt. Once they arrived in Cairo, the emperor would lavishly spend his money, or gold in this case, in the city's capital. 
Because he spent so much gold, the economy in the region was thrown into disarray, and there was widespread inflation for the next 10 years after he left. Mansa Musa's Legacy Musa, after he had returned, made it his goal to revitalize the cities that were a part of his realm. His name continued to grow throughout the area as a direct result of the architectural advancements he made there. He collaborated with Islamic academics, some of whom were direct descendants of the Prophet Muhammad, as well as an Andalusian poet and architect by the name of Abuwais Haq A. Sahili, and he remunerated them with as much as 200 kilograms of gold for their contributions. According to the BBC, he also constructed educational institutions such as schools, libraries, and mosques, which contributed to Timbuktu's development as a cultural and educational hub. Musa passed away in the year 1337, at the age of 57, and was succeeded by his sons. Nonetheless, the empire eventually disintegrated. So how rich was he, really? Despite the fact that it might be challenging to accurately assess a fortune that is dependent on gold, salt, and land, some estimates place Mansa's modern-day net worth at between $400 billion and $500 billion. On the other hand, the majority of historians are of the opinion that his riches were richer than anyone could describe. In spite of this, Mansa Musa will be known not only for his mountains of gold, but also for his charity and dedication to his Islamic faith, promotion of education, and support of his empire's greatest cultural advancements. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.